this week's show, we're going to focus on the Monaco National Day celebrations on the 19th of November, from the ceremony in the Cour d'Honneur to the military parade on the Place du Palais, which this year included the French National Navy. It's one of the Principality's biggest events, filled with traditions and during which the Monegasques gather around Prince Albert II and the princely family. The Monegasque National Day has been celebrated on the 19th of November since 1952. For some time, Monaco has been decorated in red and white, the Grimaldi family colours. This decoration is everywhere, including in the Principality's schools. This year's event gave pride of place to the French National Navy. The famous musical ensemble, the Bagade de l'Anbiwe, took part in the military parade and a frigate, the Gipprat, was moored in the Monaco harbour. The events on the Rocher were divided into three. First, the official ceremony in the Cour d'honneur of the princely palace. Then, the service in the Monaco Cathedral. And finally, the military parade on the Place du Palais. The organization of this event has been going on for over a month. All the services have been working for a long time. The palace, the carabinier, the firemen, the policemen, all these people have been working for a long time and even more so in the last few weeks in order to prepare this fantastic event. The festivities for the National Day actually began at the start of the week with the awarding of honorary distinctions by the Sovereign Prince, as well as the distribution of gifts to pensioners and those less well off. But the much-awaited event is on the 19th of November, a moment when the princely family and the population come together. It all started on Saturday morning, around 9.30, with a formal event in the Cour d'Honneur. As you can see, Prince Albert II was surrounded by his wife, Princess Charlene, and his sisters, Princess Stephanie and Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Hanover, as well as his nephews and nieces. The Monegasque hymn, sung a cappella by the members of the police force during the ceremony in the Cour d'Honneur, really stood out. It was the first time this had ever been done. The hymn was followed by the awarding of insignia and medals by Prince Albert II. Au grade de colonel, le lieutenant-colonel Tony Varro. The princely family then headed to the cathedral for the religious ceremony of the National Day, given by His Grace Bernard Barcy. During his sermon, the Archbishop of Monaco spoke about peace and solidarity. Le chrétien est assuré que les forces de corruption Christians are assured that corruption, evil and death will never win. We are constantly trying to reignite this hope, this certainty within our heart, because we are living in troubled times and our world is shaken by many dangers. Et notre monde est secoué par toutes sortes de périls. Le terrorisme a frappé à nos portes. Terrorism has become common. Violent battles take place instead of dialogue. Individualism has become the standard. Et le vivre ensemble est fragilisé. Les transformations climatiques et écologiques climate and ecological changes which Pope Francis and our sovereign prince have warned us about worry us. International tensions are high, the persecution of Christians in the Orient, the tragedy of migrants fleeing war and poverty, the loss of the meaning of God and the Catholic faith. All these issues upset and frighten us. Our country has always rallied together each time we have been faced with great crises. United, we felt stronger. 
In this disturbed environment, Monaco has remained an oasis of peace and safety and avoided the temptation of withdrawal from or indifference to outside events. Your generosity towards victims in need was not in vain. This National Day is the opportunity for Monégasques to celebrate their identity and traditions. A large crowd had gathered on the Place du Palais for the other big event of the day, the military parade. Monégasques and tourists alike had come especially for this. I've come from Canada. Last year I sung in the Prince's Choir and then for the National Day. It was fantastic. It was an incredible ceremony. C'était merveilleux quand nous avons vécu une cérémonie fantastique. On vient toujours le 19. We always come on the 19th. It's a tradition. We don't live far from here, so we like to come and enjoy the atmosphere. The orchestra of the Prince's Carabiniers was present throughout the parade. They are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year and managed to surprise everyone each year with special cover versions, like this ACDC song, which they covered with the Baguette de Lambiwe. Modern and Breton influences were heard for a moment in the Place du Palais because this year the French National Navy was invited to the event. An armed squad and the Baguette de l'Anbiwe marched past the palace balcony under the watchful eyes of the princely family, including hereditary Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella, who will soon be celebrating their second birthday. It's a great honour for us because it's an important event and we're a different kind of squad in the French army and in military music. We play traditional music and we can help raise awareness of the National Navy as well as Brittany. I think it's very symbolic. There's a link between us. That's why the Baguette de l'Anbiwe is present. Il y a tout un symbole, il y a un lien pour que le Baguette soit présent samedi prochain. As you can see, the National Day is steeped in tradition and the festivities ended in music at the Grimaldi Forum, accompanied by, amongst others, his wife Princess Charlene and his sister Her Royal Highness the Princess of Hanover, Prince Albert II enjoyed an opera, Nabucco, Verdi's first great success. Apart from the musical genius shown in this work, it was mostly about a man meeting his destiny and Italian history. That night he was able to win over the hearts of the Italians with the famous Chorus of the Slaves, which referred to the Milanese people who were under Austrian rule. Little by little Verdi became the composer for the Risorgimento, he was the deputy, but he reflected the Italian spirit. Le compositeur du Risorgimento, un député, mais également le compositeur de l'âme italienne. Baritone Leo Nucci played the lead role in Nabucco, whilst the Monte Carlo Philharmonic Orchestra provided the music. Verdi's piece impressed the audience and was a perfect end to the National Day celebrations. Non son più re, son più...